most prolific attack in the land with Manchester United, led today by Roy Keane. Notably, their new goalkeeper, Mark Bosnich, he's replaced by the absolutely resplendent yet again. A little bit of a win behind Manchester Trying to keep it in play, but has only given it away to Patrick Vieira. Here's Parler under pressure from Scholes. Now Keane for Manchester side. Third camp's layoff to Parler. Good tackle by Ryan Giggs. Good layoff by Cole. Keane helps it on. Beckham. Good return ball. No, it's his best to hold it up. Keane wins it back. Scholes goes in hard. Keown with a fine sliding tackle. And Vieira comes away with the ball. Look how much ground Keane has made up. And in the end, he's brought him down. He was always struggling to stay with him because Vieira had stolen a good 10 yards on him. I thought uh, Keane did remarkably well just to catch up with him. But you can't make tackles like this in the modern game. Roy Keane knows that as well as anyone. Now Vieira almost looked instinctively up there, expecting. And it's been given back to him by Erwin. And Erwin's a terrific player and got that well then, having made the initial mistake. Got a whack in the face there, accidental I think. Certainly the referee saw it that way. Roy Keane. Still in this ball, has given it away. Keane and Beckham going for the same ball there. Keane eventually gets it, and a good... As Erwin finds Scholes, on it goes to Keane. Did this time, but for that we have to credit Van der Howe in the United goal. Okay. Goals. Keane. There. Here's Neville. Little push there by Keogh and Dwight York. Easy clearance for Gapstam. And they're backing away here, but Vieira couldn't get any further than we've got in that glorious season. Giggs. Keane. You're finding the captain, Roy Keane. Arsenal pressing up, hoping... Just looking a little bit sharper, Manchester United, for me. The uh, layoff from Giggs was... Uh, Dixon winning it back. Keane is there for Manchester United. Looking really effective here as Canoe goes forward again and finds Henri. Good challenge by Neville. Did really well, came to Manchester United's rescue there. Here's Keane. Camp and Canu combining again. Henri. Papala. Gives it away. Keane. Here's Neville. Keane under pressure. Jungberg. Canu takes over. Piera. Silvino. Flick on by Keane. He could be the future. Tony Adams. Still goalless, but an intriguing, high-quality game of football here at Highbury. Although they've had a great deal of possession here, Manchester United. Full credit. Skulls. Keane. Ball against Scholes, actually didn't give anything. And look how well Dixon did to get at him by Upson. Silvino releases it. Keane can't keep possession. Giving away to Keane. A rare mistake in a game of. Dangerous little back header there by Keane. Back with Vieira again. Canu. Great play by Roy Keane. Harlan. That's great play by York. Here's Keane. Neville joins the attack behind Silvino there. But the Brazilians done well. 
very well. Neville's clearance helped by Keane. Keane's clearance has gone straight to smashed it against the post. Roy Keane's first goal of the new season and even Arsenal's defence powerless to prevent it he started the move as well lovely little return ball by Cole he Barcelona Dixon crowd warned him the challenge was coming in Raymond van der Haas taking a Vieira Bergkamp Great skill from Bergkamp, Keane's there to win it back. Crowd furious, thinking that Arsenal... Beckham, short to Keane, the goal scorer. And on it goes he, into Jungberg. Nicky Bott pursuing him, but he's done well, the Swedish player. Now Henri. There's so much to admire about this game, the technical quality has been of the highest order. versatile player who can play down either flank or under 20 minutes remaining. Good free kick. Very good header away by Roy Keane. I mentioned to Arsenal's attack. Defined by Neville, but here's Parler. Great tackle by Yakstan. So important as well. Arsenal had a hopeless performance. Beckham hanging in the balance. Scan. Keane. Yeah. Dwight Butt went down. Then Beckham goes down. Keane and Vieira clash. Giggs in possession. And the referee saw what went on there between Keane and Vieira. How is he going to deal with it? Vieira just letting his temper get the better of him in the last few minutes. And he and Stan have a confrontation. Well, I'm afraid this is not the first time we've seen scenes of a similar nature when these two teams meet. And the referee's got some sorting out to do here. Here's the first challenge by Vieira. Then he and Keane clash. Keane almost retaliated and Vieira should be in trouble for that oh, but Mr Paul didn't even show a yellow card Dwight you by Giggs danger here for Arsenal Ryan Giggs hits it and it comes to Roy Keane and Keane has slipped home the winner surely two and a half minutes to go the captain gets his second goal of the game and Manchester United players and fans celebrate and there was never any doubt that Keane was going to slide it home with his second goal of the game, his second goal of the season and surely the winner 11 in all competitions in succession now they are facing defeat against the champion in Premiership football and there is the whistle as I expected that is the briefest debut in history Culkin's come on, kicked the ball once the final whistle is blown and Manchester United have beaten Arsenal by two goals to one. Superb game of football. It got a little bit angry towards the end. Patrick Vieira in particular for me was fortunate to stay on the field. And then we had a major talking point, literally with seconds remaining, with that uh, injury to Raymond van der Haar and the disallowed goal. Roy Keane, skipper at Manchester United, got two goals. And it's the travelling band of United fans who go home happy.